Well, we're over in Champaign for what we knew uh, for some time would be coming, and we found out it was this morning. Uh, Athletic Director Mike Thomas met with Bruce Weber in his office, in, in Mike's office, early this morning and told him he would not be retained as the head men's basketball coach at the University of Illinois. And, and as I say, we've, we've expected this for some time. It's not a surprise. Uh, the decision has been made to uh, uh, move in a different direction. Uh, I want to thank uh, Coach Weber and uh, for all his years of service uh, to the University of Illinois, which is, is obviously extensive, not just uh, what's happening on the basketball floor, but the, the great ambassador he's been uh, off the floor uh, as well. And with his assistant coaches, uh, Jay and Jarence and Wayne and the support staff uh, and what they've meant to the program and, and uh, uh, the, the types of things that we've accomplished uh, during their tenure. Uh, Mike has been pretty consistent in the three coaching changes he's made since he's been here. He acts quickly. Um, he has that meeting usually the morning after competition has ended and, um, and he makes his decision. Um, the other announcement today from Mike was that Jaron Howard uh, has been asked and has agreed to become the interim head coach, which means that should Illinois be involved in the NIT and they'll find out Sunday night, um, Jaron would be running the team and um, Wayne McLean and Jay Price are still assistants and, and all that's in place. Uh, I think that uh, Jaron will do a, a, a tremendous job during this period of, of transition. I did ask Mike if Jaron had expressed an interest in becoming the next head coach and he said no. He said he's, he would like to stay, he would like to be, uh, he's interested in helping the next head coach. So. Uh, take that for what it's worth. I think Jarence has done great things for the program and I know he has great relationships with our student athletes so uh, as we sit here today certainly uh, he'll be serving in that interim role and uh, you know be the face of our program till we have a new coach in place but at the end of the day when a new coach is hired uh, that would really be their call. He's going to conduct a national search. He's probably going to involve the search firm down in Atlanta um, because he has two searches going on at the same time, trying to find a women's head basketball coach and a men's coach, a little overwhelming. And um, he's used search firms before and had some success, so I think he'll do that in this case. Obviously, he'll still be investigating the candidates that he wants, too. I mean, he's not going to be beholden to somebody that they uncover, but they can help um, vet those candidates and find out more about them and so forth. Uh, moving forward with the process, uh, uh, anticipate uh, there being a lot of interest in this job, which will be a national search. Uh, we will move quickly, but we will move uh, diligently, and uh, I'm excited about the prospects uh, of this program for the future, but certainly the key to that is, is feeling like we have the right person in place uh, to lead what is a, 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 very, a very national program that has a history of great success. Um, process begins now. It's, uh, it's kind of a sad day in that Bruce is a very, very popular guy. But um, if you look at where the program had gone over the past five seasons in particular, you know, maybe uh, an optimistic thing to say would be that it went sideways. And, and if it may be more true that it was going backwards a little bit. It's not just the last three or four months or not just the last month, but really uh, the last uh, nine years. And there's no doubt that uh, early in Coach Weber's tenure, we had great success here. But uh, in the last four or five years, uh, uh, I don't know if you want to say we were running in place or, or that maybe we e even digressed a little bit. And uh, certainly uh, for a program of our stature competing in a tremendous basketball conference, uh, I think it's important that we're playing at the highest level. And obviously it all compounded at the way this season ended with the uh, losing uh, 12 of the final 14 games, just a collapse after they started 15-3. and three. So. He's not fired because of this season, but he's fired because of five seasons in which the program failed to get into the NCAA tournament three times and has just one NCAA tournament win, win to show. So um, a tough day for Bruce Weber, no doubt about that. But, um, you know, I think Bruce will get another job, another head coaching job. Uh, very well could happen within a, one of the BCS conferences. And I know he wants to continue to coach, but I also know this experience has really worn him out. He looked terrible yesterday in Indianapolis at the Big Ten Tournament. So Bruce Weber's out, Jaren's Howard the interim coach, search underway to find a new coach, 
And, um, you know, the NCAA Tournament Selection Sunday is this week. And, um, you know, the, the next coach may, be well, may well be coaching in the NCAA Tournament, so you're going to have to wait for their team to be eliminated before formal offers can be made. But behind the scenes, preliminary things are already underway.